Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a minimalist banner in Photopea super easily. So without further ado, let's get started. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make a new project. So go to a new project, type in 2560 by 423 and hit create okay so i found a background i just looked up fog and trees here we are we got our picture so i'm going to copy that go back into my photo p and hit Control v so here is our image now we need to resize it so i'm going to go up to edit free transform i'm going to click on one of the boxes and hold shift to make it bigger and i kind of want the fog to be just on the top part so i'm going to rotate it a little bit like this and hit that check mark once you're done so i was having some trouble earlier um photo p wouldn't let me type any text and it wasn't my browser i tried to so this is a few hours later but anyways i got my picture here now i want to get my text so i'm gonna go to my text tool over here left click anywhere on your canvas and type in your name so here I got Canva Creates. Go up here after you hit Control A to select all of it. And make, let's make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to move it to the center. Wait till those red lines appear so it's centered. Now I'm going to find a different font. For a minimalist look, I want to get like a cursive kind of uh, font. Because I think it would look pretty good with it. Um, so I'm going to go through here and once I find it, I will be back. So I'll see you then. So I'm going to go with this font right here, VTC Letterer Pro. Um, I like the look of this one, so I'm just going to double click on my text layer now. Change the color to white. And that's good there. Now make sure you're selected on your background layer. Go down here to this little half circle and go to curves. Now there's going to be red, green, and blue. When you click this little drop down arrow, we're going to go to red. Make this go up a little bit on this line. And then make this one go down on the line. And then do the same for green and blue. And adjust it however much you'd like. To where it looks like that. Now... Click on your background layer, go up to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast. Turn this up a bit and turn the contrast up. Now go to image, adjustments and vibrance. Like that. And now we're going to just add a drop shadow on our text because I feel like it needs it. So let's just add a simple drop shadow and turn the angle to about 90 degrees. Turn the opacity down to about 26 and turn the distance down a bit now we're going to add some text below our name right here so i'm going to zoom in a bit go to my text tool and type in here first let's change the size to about 43 i'm going to type in um, graphic designer slash youtuber slash oops slash gamer just some categories of what your channel is about and it also gives it a nice look, so make that white. And now what we're going to do is we're going to resize it to where it fits right below our text. So double click on it. Turn the size up until it looks about right. Like this looks good. But it's a little bit off, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to edit, free transform. Grab one of these boxes and hold shift until it's the size you want. Also, we want to change the font down here. So I'm going to choose this one. Or actually, I might do this one. Yeah, I'll do this one. And put that right below it. So um, it looks a little too clean down here for this kind of font. So I'm going to change the font. So I decided to go with um, this font right here. Bebes, baby. I don't know what the heck that is, but... I'm going to just click on this layer here, 
I'm going to edit free transform this. So I can put it right below my text. Make it a little bit smaller. Like so. There we go. So it's a little too low. So I'm going to move this up and move this up. What you could do is you could also put a line to divide these two, but that's completely up to you. I think it looks pretty good like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a shape. So go down here to your rectangle tool, change the fill to black and draw a rectangle around your text like this. Make sure it's as even as you can get it and let go. Now drag this below your text layers. Turn the blending mode to, I believe, multiply and turn the opacity down on it. So you can see here, you can do it lower if you want, but it's just something else to add to your picture. You might not like it and that's cool, but these are just some ideas that you can do with it. But now what we're going to do is we're going to export it. But first we have to change our canvas size back to what it was. So we'll go up to image, canvas size, 2560 by 1440. Now you can export it and upload it and it'll just show this part. So hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.